Already up 10 to 7. You got a second and seven, and he goes to no offense. Can we call him, okay, OnlyFans? Is that what, is that what we were looking OnlyFans. for? OnlyFans. OnlyFans. Yeah, I don't really know what that is, though. You know, not me. Not me. It's a website about tiny ends. Not Gosh. I. Uh, 20 to 7. It's Peter, actually, are right in a way. Not bad. Right? Uh, 20 to 7, yeah. and we got an interception. Patrick Sertan. Not Sertan, Sertan. The second he gets the pick. And guys, the Broncos win by double digits. They are currently looking down on the Chiefs in the AFC West standings at 2 and 0. Oh. Wow. How about the Rams and Colts game? This one, we know Wentz goes down with the injury. Here comes Jacob Eason. We see Wentz on the sideline. Can Eason get it going? Can he do something here? Down three, two minutes left. Jacob Eason, can he be the hero? Jalen Ramsey picks it off. Rams would find a way to put it away. Rams go on the road. Sean McVay now 39 and 0. A fun game. When leaving, when leading at halftime. 39 and 0. They did it again. That is really great. Somebody got to break that stack. It's three. Come on. All right, Bengals, Bears. You know, Andy Dalton with the Bengals for a long time. The handoff to Ben Jarvis, Green Ellis, and all kinds of fun. There he is with the new brain trust and the face of the team. That would be this, though. Hold on, though. Early on, Andy Dalton just likes this little run. He's going out of bounds. And the knee does something it's not supposed to do. And then he was banged up. He tried to come back. And then he went out again. Rap Sheet's all over it all day. Follow him at Rap Sheet on Twitter. We don't know what the deal is with this. We don't know if we're going to see him next week. Joe Burrow, 199 straight passes without an interception. Longest current streak. Got it! Roquan, look at this one. Whoop! Uh, Roquan intercepts it. He's going to go all the way down the sideline for a pick six. The craziest thing is that Burrow threw interceptions on his next two passes. He threw three, like, in a row. So it was nuts. And the Bears were just – and the, remember, the Bears' defense was terrible week one. So Justin Fields comes in on a third and eight. Got him. Ugh. They absolutely oh. deked him on this. That, that linebacker faked like he was going to blitz, drop back as Logan Wilson, and just grabbed it. So now it's 20 to 10, and Burrow's like, we might win this thing because I got T. Higgins for a touchdown. And now it's a one-score game. So Joe Burrow, for God's sake, he's done his job. Justin Fields closed the door. Third and nine, under three to play. Home crowd with bated breath. He takes off, breaks the tackle. Can he move the chains? Yes. Awkward landing, no problem. He's young and rubbery. And they move it, and they win in a weird, sloppy game with an Andy Dalton injury and a bizarre Joe Burrow play. Eli it's Apple. Field strange. Eli Apple. This was a very strange game, but the Bears won. They get to one and one. And the Bengals fall to one and one. But Adams, everyone's talking about these Bears quarters. Yeah, Dalton played for less than a quarter. He led the Bears' only touchdown drive of the day. And in that short period of time, did complete more passes than Fields. The guys are going to chew on that at the breakfast table momentarily. We bring in Ian Rappaport, though, first to give us the latest on the Bears quarterback. Andy Dalton. Well, well, we'll start with the Andy Dalton situation. There's a lot, obviously, as you guys are going to discuss, a lot more going on here. So Andy Dalton has a knee injury. It's not an ACL, according to head coach Matt Nagy. He's going to have more tests this morning, but from what I understand, when they did the manual test on the knee, it was pretty strong and sound. Bone bruise is one possibility that has been brought up to me, which if it is, uh, if that is, in fact, what it is, then obviously next week's game would be a little difficult for Andy Dalton. So that's one thing. The other thing is Fields apparently has been tearing it up in practice. I'm told there's been a lot of wow moments. They have seen all of the growth that they've wanted to see. And in fact, they plan to come in and use some Justin Fields packages to kind of help him grow and maybe just get him acclimated a little bit. What we saw yesterday, guys, way more than acclimation because he had to play. We will see probably early today what the status of Andy Dalton is and whether or not the Justin Fields they've been dying to see is actually going to be a full-time quarterback because of injury. And week three, of course, Chicago heads to Cleveland to take on the Browns in that pass rush. Thank you so much. Ian Rappaport, talk to you in a bit. Chris, what do you want to see happen with Chicago's quarterback situation going forward as we got an extended look at the rookie? Well, it, I'm not going to get what I want. I want Andy Dalton to be in there to at least Halloween. And we've had Halloween. this discussion. Yes. A mm -hmm. couple um, of months. And it's based on this. Not based on what happened in training camp. Not based on what happened week number one. But I've been watching Fields play. I watched every throw. I watched every down he played at Ohio State. I thought he was going to stay in school. I thought it could have helped him. He's got two top round draft picks at Ohio State this year. Man, he could have had an awesome senior year. But he decided to come out. The Bears have him. And we got Bears fans that want him in there. The thing about this is... I like brownies. Kay likes brownies, sure. but we don't like them gooey. Mm -hmm. Now, if people get fooled by the gooey brownies, the first couple bites are good. And then the next thing you know, 10, 15 minutes later, you, you got bubble guts. <laughs> Your stomach hurts. <clears throat> All right? So, yes, he'll have a few plays, but 
Yesterday, your stomach started hurting when you got fooled by the linebacker. Right. When you have to handle 70 snaps, it's a different beast than five to 10 plays. So he is going to struggle. But if they get a team identity that the Chicago Bears like, run the ball, defense, turn them over, then I'm all for it. Mm. But they can't be a high-flying him throwing the ball 35 times a game. No, sir. You don't even like the centerpieces. You like that corner piece that's all charred and everything and perfectly cooked, no goo whatsoever. Look, I'm oh, a brownie yeah. expert. You can have a little goo, <laughs> all right, but you got to have some substance, some heart, and that's what the combination between Dalton and Fields would have been able to do for the first six to eight weeks of the season. I'm the guy licking the spoon. <laughs> I, 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 and I don't, you don't even need to put it in the oven. I know. Um, here's what I want right now. First of all, on a Monday morning, we're as guilty as any other show. There is a misinformation about the Justin Fields experience yesterday. If you did not watch the game, you wake up and say, 6 to 13 interception. He was horrible. You have to watch the game. Because if you did, you're going to miss moments like this, in which Justin Fields, calm, looking the part, finds a single coverage. There's Allen Robinson. I'm going to throw a perfect pass that our best receiver is just going to straight up drop. Mm. He makes this catch, and it's like, wow, Fields threw a dime for a touchdown. And the Bears, look at I mean, look at the throw. Robinson completely blew it. You, you, you got to make that catch. I don't know what happened. And there was another one with Komet. Um, my takeaway was there were some rough moments. There were some really impressive moments. I still want him on the field as soon as possible against any team you can put in front of him because I think he's a good enough athlete, and I think he does have the psyche to stay calm, in which he did after he threw the interception, after he took a hit. And... Um, we don't know. It's really dicey. We're hearing bone bruise is an injury that I don't know where that goes in terms of them going to Cleveland. But please, if you have an opinion on Justin Fields, positive neg, watch the games because the stats don't tell the story. They don't. There were false starts where he's flinching up sure. there. Like there were multiple things where you're like, oh, he's got the jitters. It's not. It's not going to be all smooth. This isn't Mahomes out of the gate. So right. Let's go. And, um, but he did have that pass to Robinson, which would have been caught. And you mentioned the commit one. I think there was good and there was bad. As I said last week, if the defense is is terrible. It won't matter either way. Mm -hmm. And they're all the defense was really good yeah, was yesterday. Awesome. The defense showed up, and that is so so promising. If you are a Bears fan, because we can figure it out along the way. As long as the defense can do their part and look like they did yesterday, as opposed to Week One, where they were bumping into each other and they were confused. I mean, this Roquan pick six, it's an outstanding play for anyone. And it was a very important play to get Fields the confidence that, hey, we can win and I can make a couple mistakes. I don't have to be perfect. I thought the defense was excellent. Burrow is no stranger to making big plays, and he did have an okay game. But the Bears defense, as long as it's going to make game-changing plays mm -hmm. and turn the ball over, you can put Fields out there because mm -hmm. it gives him an ability to make a mistake and not have the game come crashing down on him because of it. I'm fine with going to Fields as long as the defense is up to its mm. ability yeah. like it was yesterday. Was it, was it that or was Joe Burrow just like in this? That was so weird. We'll Sometimes. find out, I guess, week three. This is, wasn't Herbert, though, coming in and lighting up the Chiefs, right? Or Baker electrifying his team on Thursday night yeah. football against the Jets. This was not that. There was good. There was bad. You showed me a couple plays. What about the rest of the game, right? Dalton in there was the only touchdown drive. He has some developing to do. Kyle, you can't eat the brownies while they're in the oven. No. You know what I mean? Like, you've got it. You can't do both. So, how do you, you – you would put Justin Fields in there. Like, obviously, like, if your kid calls you and says, come pick me up, you have to take the brownies out of the yeah. oven and leave. So if an injury forces their hand <laughs> and you're eating your gooey – the oven. You're eating gooey brownies, whatever. But, like, how do you feel about it right now? Like, in one sentence, that you should – you want Justin Fields in as the start of the rest of the Yeah, I wanted him starting as the Rams week one. I just think – I think he's that good of an athlete, and I think his psychological part of it is – the guy's facial expression never changes. Never. And I think he is not afraid of anything. I don't care who they're playing. I don't care if they're playing the Browns or the 85 Bears. I still want him in. It's never been about Dalton. Dalton's yeah. always going to be fine. Of course he can lead a touchdown drive. Dalton's pretty good. I just think this is the athlete. This is the future. I think he's the best chance to win. All right, let's get on to a real quarterback. We're not worrying. <laughs> oh, let's go Kyler Murray. Oh, Holla, holla. Coming off four touchdown passes last week against the Titans. This guy is entertaining. Third quarter, Cardinals trailing 30-24. First and goal, he goes to slick A.J. Green. Mm. Bashar Breeland, he had a hard day. Nice pass to A.J. A.J. getting involved in the passing game. But come on, let's go. Four seconds. Yeah. Our guy, Greg Joseph, lines up 37 yards. Winner, loser. I hate it. Kyler Murray, my man Patrick Pete embrace after the game. Kicker stinked. <laughs> Even in the NFL. Oh, but from a fantasy perspective, You're not I'm by anything. all about this. Four touchdowns for Kyler Murray. Kyler Murray crushing it from a fantasy perspective. Rondale Moore will have more of him on later in the show. He had a 100-yard performance. He was awesome. He was wide open.